think what you see here is that, you know, real life is structures, it's Obviously shapes, it's procedures. So, you know, getting yourself into a class, familiarizing yourself with how to meet angles of exposure with angles of attack. Uh, that's beneficial for everybody, right? That's not just uh, military or police. Like, of course, that that's part of your job. But even a, a citizen, you can see of uh, trying to work a structure to get your family out of an active shooter event uh, and how you can put yourself in kind of the position of advantage instead of disadvantage. Uh, so I think, you know, being able to break the world down to those simple concepts is, uh, again, beneficial for everybody. All right, everyone, uh, this is uh, Walsh from Thinline Defense, obviously, because you guys are watching here. Um, we have Jesse from Defense Mechanisms. We're actually going to be doing some training, doing some CQB stuff inside of the game, ready or not. So that's what we're playing with here now. We have uh, Callie joining us. We have Tactical Java, who did the class with me, where we went out to Defense Mechanisms with Jesse. And we also have um, Dan from Defense... Uh, dynamic principles who's also playing with us he is on the extremely fast computer so if it's a little bit laggy we'll, we, won't, we won't make fun of him later but um so what's gonna happen is tim's gonna be playing as the team leader and jesse's gonna be giving us commands most of us have worked within a two-man situation and we've asked him a few times like hey could you teach us in real time how we move into a five-man or move into a team situation and what's interesting is in this situation we're we're all over the world in different places everywhere jason's here he's actually with me which is crazy um but we're all learning from jesse from all over the country and using this game and we're gonna maneuver through and use his strategy and implementation of cqb to see if we can clear the level it's gonna be good so without further ado jesse i'm gonna let you take the take the realm Sure. sure. So uh, where we're standing right now would be considered our LCC. This is our last cover and concealment. So from here, we would move typically, you know, we would have more than just the one five man team. Typically, we would have like 15 guys or more. Uh, so we would set up with an assault team moving for cover to the door. We would then have a heavy breach team with tools in hand being protected by the assault team. And then we would have our trail element. Uh, which may be setting up on a different breach point or they're just going to be follow-on assault to the main breach point. Uh, there might be containment on the actual site. Uh, so from here, we kind of we typically move off. Uh, depending on the, you know, the area we have to cover, we would either be moving in a wedge formation or uh, we would move in two by two kind of columns. Uh, so I think for this, uh, looks, I don't know, can you move to where you can see the breach point, Timothy? Okay, so breach point's just going to be the front door. For this, we would want to move two by two. Um, so we'll set up with two men in the front and two men in the rear. Timothy's going to fall into the fifth man position as he would be the furthest back. So as I'm looking at this initial problem, uh, it's just looking like a standard four-way. So a four-way in teams... Uh, will typically be handled um, kind of like a two-man, right? So the first guys are going to come up, they're going to cross cover, they're going to first recognize the shape, see that we have a four-way, they're then going to cross cover, hit that line of departure, right, that point of diminishing returns, they're going to transition to their sides, give a barrel release, and then they're going to pop their corner. The next two guys will then fill in on what is that center position. This is an unknown four-way. You guys can go ahead and move up, take that first shape. First two guys Over there. the glass, they'll pop it. Middle two guys will follow up the middle and then they'll hold the zero. I got civilians. Thank God for you. All right, when we encounter friendlies or unknowns, right, obviously first is going to be verbals, but then we would have what we call a contact and cover. So two guys, one guy is going to be the contact. He's going to be doing the speaking. He's going to be, you know, let me see your hands. Typically, we would move them out of us, right? So... Wait, I'm trying to keep rear security in there, Timothy. This is <laughs> Roger, Roger that, Agent Team. Yeah, we need to get down on the ground. Yeah. Okay, so typically learning. in this situation, we would call them out to us. Obviously, we control the area that we're in right now. Uh, 
I don't know if in this game it allows you to make them come out to you so you can hand come from here now. and then move over here. here. Your contact guy will move out of the way. He'll open the gate, and then your other guy will come up, and he will actually do the cuffing. So in this situation, it looks like – who am I looking at here? looks like Jawa would be the guy who's actually placing the handcuffs on. Do you have anything on you? I'm coming. All right, so now we're holding – all cover so if we get back to like our points of domination we have one guy looks like to, light. yeah let me see up here so we have the ability to move this is where we would give our room report it looks like we got a closed door at 12 o'clock dead space 12 o'clock i can't see what's over to your uh nine o'clock looks like oh, two open okay so waiting room's empty looks like and then we got another door 12 o'clock open door 12 o'clock so typically in these situations we always prioritize open doors versus closed doors uh but i would want to at least get a gun into what is that 12 o'clock of that receptionist window you know so uh, i would get one guy to just kind of give a glimpse of that as we start moving off to the actual open door okay on me Also, we need to be dropping chems here, so I would drop an initial on, chem at the front door, and then one right before this door that we go through, and then one right at the... Uh, okay, awesome. And this is what's going to allow us to know where we've actually been in the building. So now our very next shape. Uh, I can't... Let me see. Where, how can I see the front guy here? Looks like we just have a top of a T. So top of the T, show me what a two-man top of the T looks like. Obviously, outside guy, cross cover, barrel release. Inside guy is going to pop the shape and wind up in this top of the T. Uh, where are you going? going? All right, so here I would take one side, I would say left side. Can like go ahead and start to clean up what that is. Right side hold so they can hold that closed door. And then we just got to kind of make a decision here. So for me, I don't want to leave anything from behind me, kind of just reading this structure. I can tell that the right side, we just came from that direction, like, you know, from the outside. So I want to clean up that right side first. And all I need to proceed with two man tactics or with even in a team is I need two guys on the door unless we need an isolator for this room. It's an isolated door right there. So uh, I would simply uh, take that right side room with two guys. Who's looking out the back door? Is that Cali? Um, um, yep. So Walsh is on the door. He's set up in the assaulter position. That means Cali is going to be our breacher. He's going to go ahead and just action the door. And confirm. And this leads to outside. So go ahead and drop a chem there and on the inside for me. Chem down. And yep, now the other two guys can they can keep proceeding, right? So this is the whole idea of having the team. We want we don't want to get further than one train feature ahead, but all I need is those two guys to pop that door. So they open the door. This is just going to be a standard room procedure. You're going to come in, dig your hard corner, get to your point of domination. And for a strong wall, it's the same as our two-man tactics, except you're going to be an extra foot over so that you can allow for three and four to go. Police, police. So my first two guys, if we've got, if we've seen something from our threshold assessment, then again, we would just call them out to us from here uh, using that same contact and cover. If we've got nothing, we can just go ahead and proceed with room procedure. So who was my assaulter on this door? <laughs> Looks like it was, yep. And so just go ahead and... We have to hurry. LSPD, don't move. Hands in the air. Center D. All right, so let's get this guy called out to us. I need left side hold on that uh, portal, and right side go ahead and deal with the suspect. Move up and clear up that dead space. Make sure you get behind that dead space there first, though, Timothy. At that corner. Okay, I got an extra door and some lockers. 
Go back and chem the door that we came in. Two element, two element. Move on, move on. Move on. And same thing from here. This leads to where we have multiple doors, right? So for me, I like to do what they call kind of like skinning the ship. I want to stick to the outmost, uh, outmost, outermost doors as long as I can, right? So before we break into the interior. So in this situation, I would probably prioritize that right door. So your guys, it's three o'clock. So I need an assault or breacher. Everyone else kind of stacks up assault side. I'll breach. Who's that? I'm on the right side, I'll breach. Okay. Did we lose somebody? Yeah, I'd freaking stop my stream on accident. Can you add me on? My apologies. Yeah, hey, hey Jason, can you fix um, Callie's What's stream again? Door opens. Can't really. Let's see. Okay, so hold. We had a. We've got a threat door here. So I need one isolator. So basically, number three man in the typical stack, right? So we're two by two. Number three man is going to be my isolator. First two guys are going to L on that door, and then third out. man's going to come up, and he's going to plate himself with the back of the assaulter there. And then he's going to hold long. So then as we make entry into the room, three man stays outside holding that hallway. Okay. And see, that's why you want to be right on his plates. That way, if the door opens and they have contact there, then, you know, you're protected as three man. So now, you know, what is the rest of the team? Three, four and five being the team leader will make entry into that room while that one isolator holds the hallway. Okay, who is who, who took that door? that i kicked it so Damn jawa is in my isolator position currently and then i need yeah walsh um looks like cali or dan and cali and timothy can all enter that room oh, okay yeah, clear. Now we got a bathroom, pretty short, right? So I would just say right side, clean it up. I'd need two guys to just clean up those doors, and they're going to handle those ba bathroom doors just like a top of a T, and then an isolated door procedure at the end, right? So threat door procedure followed by isolated door procedure. Th those don't oh, open, uh, but yeah. Oh, okay. They're All clear. right, so then we're going to move back out into the hallway. It looks like our very next shape is a four-way. So, again, first two guys are going to pop their corners, and then three and four are going to give a pregnant pause. Now, depending on if there's a near angle of exposure here, and we'll, uh, we'll kind of see. So let's just uh, fall into our points of domination. First two guys are going to pop their, their angles, and then we'll hold on three and four here. So Timothy's going to go up. Also, if Timothy ever finds himself in an also, uh, assaulter position in this, the rest of the team wants to be bumping the team leader to the back, right? Typically, the team leader has the most experience. Um, so he's seeing it from like an eagle view. He's kind of directing, but sometimes he's an assaulter, right? So he gets put in. It's just always a good habit to be bumping him to the back. So once you realize he's up in a one or two position, bump and he'll fall to, you know, the fifth position. Or he'll say bump and bump himself out and somebody else will fill into those positions. So now as we look, um, okay, there's no near angle of exposure on Jawas, but if there was, then the other part of the team would, you would fall across that hallway to hold him. Like if there was a door right there to your left, and as they went to peel across for the four way, you would then follow across with them holding that angle, if that makes sense. Uh, so I'm looking at it. So my two middle guys can move up and at what I see here is we have one closed door to the right one closed door at 12 o'clock and then a long hallway that goes on and on on Java screen. So again, I'm going to prioritize uh, moving to that right. I'm going to go on Timothy. This is where I would last man guys out of the actual four way so that they knew where their position was going to be. Uh, so let's go ahead and keep one isolator. Um, he can sit out there where he can hold both the long hallway and that door. And then the other one, and basically he's going to suck in so that he's not exposed to that closed door at 12 o'clock, but he can see the long hallway. And if someone came around the corner, the rest of the team's going to make entry into that room that Timothy was on.
And yeah, if any doors are contested interior, we use a breaching shotgun. So for this, he's looking for that barrel release. Good. Shotguns the door. He's going to move out of the way, let the rest of the team flow through. And then he's going to come in as the last guy. Hands up. Hands up. Don't move. Show me hands, Show me hands now. I want, I want you to get down, down slowly. Uh, yeah, I, was, well, I get one of you guys, so I got both Jawa and Dan holding the long hallway. I would get one of you guys holding that door to your right. Police, don't move! That one. Yeah, there you go. Get down and put your hands up. Dan, you stay on that long hallway. All right, so now uh, we're interior. We've got uh, stairs going up the structure, so I would want to clean the first floor first. So I would come back out. LSPD, hands up! I could hold if you want to. Only get, get down on the ground. LSPD. LSPD. So I'd shut get that door. Up. I would not chem it. Police, Telling me I need to come up. back to it. Head Looks head like it's already chem. So now we'll just have to remember that we didn't clear that way. Um, but now let's take that door to the right there. Don't, don't, move. don't move. Police, hand Police, hands in the air. So I got an assaulter set up on it, looks like. Jawa is my assaulter, got a breacher, you guys can go ahead and go in. Another just bathroom. You guys make entry, clear your hard corners. Nothing, cool, we can get out. Got one civilian here, we're grabbing him. Talk to the entry team. Roger, roger, entry team, keep work, keep going. All right, uh, looks like, again, another four-way in front of us. So, again, first two guys are going to peel. Just two Police, contacts. don't move! Yeah, one deep left, one close right. Back of the bus there, but... Yeah, <laughs> my bad. It's getting shot in the back of the head. <laughs> hey, we have some dead space right behind in this in his room right here. Yep. Element, element to talk. Civilian, Civilian is one. Talk to entry team. Copy. Copy. We're clear. We're clear. Notifying frame trailers. Yeah, come back. Civi in front of me on the left side here. Get down. I want to see him. We'll call out from there. Bring him out to us. How do you bring him out? You guys have to play. Center click. And then you get a yellow or a gray screen, and you can select yeah. move to with two, move there. and you can tell them to come to you or move someplace else or whatever. Well, you, you have to be looking at it. So, like the cursor, the center cursor has to be like on your body. Uh, let's push up this right side. I have them. I have them coming towards us right now. Okay. And just doesn't take see. a little bit. Who's got our left side here? So for this, like a large room like this. Again, like typically we're going to have other teams, so I would have passed through a team to the right and a team to the left here. We're in two-man team, so I would just take, you know, right side, have them clean up the right side. I would have the left side team clean up the left side. And we have to move online together, right? Like that's the importance here. And then make sure we're coming any of the rooms that we've already cleared. Looks like we have a... Let's take at that door over there. There's a double door on the left side of the room that we're... Okay. And what Kelly. do we got? Right side, Timothy. Let me see yes. over there. Line, line up with me. All right. So right side's going to push up. Left side, go ahead and just hold that door and that room in front of you that hasn't been cleared. So we're going to just stand in the top of a T formation while the left side comes up. And then once you see the other team coming up to clear that dead space in that room, then you're going to shift to that double door. Hey, what? Watch that door. I got it, got it, got it. All right, now I'll move to you. Okay. So now you're on an L, just, yep, yeah, and make entry, boom, boom. You could have just held into there as well. All right, so chem that. Chem right out. And then we're going to be moving to this double door here. So double door, I need an assaulter and a breacher. Everybody else is going to stack up assault side. Isolated door here. Let me know when you're ready. Sorry, barrel release means we're ready. It's good. Okay. Police, police, down, down on the ground. 
same thing. Threshold assessment, let us know. Let me see what this first, uh, looks like four way here. Same thing, first two guys are gonna pop their 90s, then the other two guys are gonna fill into that zero and let Timothy get into the center. So, okay, uh, whenever, you're, whenever you're ready, pop left. There you go. Now, other two guys will move up to your points of domination on the other side, all the way across the hallway, left. So, yep, you hold Four that. Home. Yep, hold. So let Timothy get directions. Yeah, we're going to take, uh, looks like it was Callie's. We're going to go Callie's door here. So go ahead and get up there, assault her breacher. I need one isolator to be able to hold outside this door. Hey, Jesse, I got a question for you. Hold that. Yeah. At what point, if you move into those positions, do you, do you ever say what you see? Like, I got stairs on this side, I got two open doors. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, that's that's the whole point, right? Like, what, a, most of the time you're going to create the space so that the team leader can just step in there and immediately see. But, yeah, if you're looking down, that's when you give basically your, you know, your report is like, I'm looking down here, I have 15 doors. And then one guy's like, well, I have one door, you know, and just by the sheer amount of work, it's way easier to go clean up that one door and then start, you know, solving the problems down there. So, yeah, that's kind yeah. of what I'm looking for is as these guys pop their shape, you know, they're, hey, this is what I got. Obviously, most of us are looking at 12 o'clock as we move into the shape. So it's just more important for your left and right guy. Do you want us to start right. doing kind of room reports and call it like that, like we would normally do in class? Yeah, no, that'd be great. Okay, let's start doing that, guys. I'm trying to do it off like Timothy's screen here, so yeah. it's yeah, a little Cal flawed, but uh, Callie's not, we're working not real through familiar it. With it. So, Callie, when, with it, I'm going to give you a little bit of training real quick. We're going to give you a barrel release, if you're, and we'll, maybe we'll give you a little instruction if you're the guy up front. But then when you move into a position, like like if you watch watch me for a second here, yeah. when, when you come here at the corner, you know, you, you do a barrel release with your teammate, you come around the corner basically one step. Well, this is going to be two steps in because we're four and one step off. And then you well, that would be on a room oh, procedure. Yeah. On a shape, you're going to use okay. half of that wall right there as concealment, right? Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, right here. Yeah, so you're going to be right there. That's where you're going to wind up. That's your point of domination. Yeah, so basically, you, once you got into your point of domination, you'd start to call out what you see, where I would be like, you got it. Uh, people's portal in places. So if you saw any people, portals is in like doorways to rooms um, and, and places in like dead space. So I'd, you know, I'd say, hey, I got a, a stairwell this way and uh, some dead space, 12 o'clock. What about, All right. what, what would you say for like a reception or something like something that was up in the front of the, um, of the hospital? Can see, like if it, if it could hide a person, like a yeah. person besides crouching down, a dead space, what you would call it. Dead, okay, got it. I just wanted to make sure, just so yeah. we're on the same page. Yep. Sorry, okay, I'm back doing isolator for you guys on the door. All right, so Walsh is going to isolate the door for us, and then the rest of the team is going to stack up on what was Callie's door. And Walsh, I want you to tuck back, like, kind of where we're at right here, so that way, yeah, you're not dealing with, you know, three angles of exposure you just have the one in front of you and a short one right so dan, all right, and then dan come back here with us yeah, I got there that. we go i was about to ask did we lose dan <laughs> no he's all good right. all right so now i need my breacher set up the rest of the team's going to set up a salt side salt side which is cali side which is left side one of you need to come over here for Jawa. there we go now barrel release Go ahead and action the door. Nice room procedure. Dig your hard corner. Sibby, Next sibby down. Dig. down on your knees. Hands up. Hands up. Don't move. It's back where we were. All right. All right. All right. So now we got a chem light. We move back out. We got a chem light this side, the other side of the door. Move over there. Chem light. Move and stay there. Hands up. Hands up. To your knees. I'm gonna try and get him to move to us really quick. Yep. Um, I still wanna, we're gonna end up clearing all this out, right? The other portal in front of us. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. Got it. Don't leave Don't me here like this. like this. Can someone cover me while I restrain him? I'm here. Got it. Going in. Please, Please. stop this. That dude's cuffed. Where are oh, you like, oh wait, we already did this. Yeah. yeah. I am so sorry. All right, Timothy, turn around. 
We're going to move out. And from this. here, we're going to go to the left side. So, guys, pop this four-way real quick. And if it's known, we would take it a different way. Um, we would basically just start to fill in on that side heavy because we know what direction we're going to go. So, um, let's see. This guy. It would be... Callie's going to move up on line with... Jawa, and then the rest of us are gonna fall in behind two by two. Jawa, Jawa, try and take lead on that one so we can keep so give direction. To Walsh, turn left, turn left, last man. And then we're going to we got a four way, so same thing. Hey, get it. Uh, so 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 behind the bars, so behind the pillar here. Call him out. Slowly get down on the grass. Got the angle. I'll try, I'm gonna flash. I'm gonna try and flash him so we can subdue him. Bang. Twelve o'clock deep. Bang, bang out. LSPD, don't move! Put your hands up! 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 Hands I need some camelots behind us in this four-way. I can direct you. This is Elf Talk. Roger, roger that. Trailer, 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 trailer. There is a um, doorway Stop. here on the suspect that I just I need you to stay restrained. Hold. You're so good. Ready to go. Catch up. All right, so let's see. Good to go. Where is the rest of us? We got two over there. Roger, roger. Ready to team. Great work. Great work. So it looks like Dan and Nicholas Walsh. Um... I mean, you guys can push up and push through that door. You need to, but if it goes on past that, then we'll have to call for the team. Okay, so that's pretty short. Let's uh, hit that last L around that corner right there, Walsh. Yep. Yeah, a little bit. Got to get it all the way to the back. Look in all that space. There's tons of dead space. So move down. It's going to be top of the T. Top of the T, L. Okay. All right, all clear. Give me a chem light down at the end of there, Walsh. Drop Marking the, the end of the wall back there, so you know, like, you've hit the limit of that. Not in there. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. And then we'll move back out to the rest of the team. Please, They're going down, down the hallway, so uh, it's going to be a team top of a T. So on a team top of a T, the, the first two guys hit it like an L, and then the other two guys are going to fill in behind them, holding to the zero here. Who does the barrel release, though? Inside man. I can't feel my hand. All right, so from here, I, I got an open door towards uh, the 3 o'clock, and then 12 o'clock was closed. So I'm going to prioritize this open door. We're going to move toward that. First two guys, it's already open, so it's just simple shape procedure, bottom of a T. Okay. Got dead space behind this ambulance. So, uh, where's the rest of my team? Travel. All right. So, yeah, we just need uh, a guy to go with Timothy over here. And then the rest of you can move down the other way and clear up that dead space down there. This is all exterior, goes all around the building. Yeah, this is our info. Okay, so let's move back toward. Let's drop a cam on this side so we know. Dropping the light. Both sides of the door. That way we know we've been this way. And now, same thing, bottom of a T. Prioritizing the right side direction. So, boom. Fill in on Walsh, got assault their breacher, open the door. Back to the reception area. And go out, bottom of a T. All right, so now we're gonna be moving back toward the uh, little rec room down there so we can go upstairs. I would like to fill in from a, a side rather than the front. So move down, we're back clearing everything. Another four way. And now we have the stairs. Let's move. Oh, shit. Walls are down. Oh, we, had, we had a bomb. We had a bomb on that one. I forgot about I figured we were just learning, but fine. <laughs> there's a there's a bomb timer. Uh, I'll do a oh. different one. There's no 
where there's no timer. We could, or we could move a little bit quicker. But yeah, you gotta. I forgot about that on that one. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So everyone died. Uh, but until then, great tactics, everyone. So, um, Jesse, so if you, if you do team top of a T, so you're moving in a two man column, right? Mm-hmm. The, the first two guys, do they turn to the? They turn into the T, or do they? Does one turn and one stay straight? No, they both turn. They'll take it like an L, and then if it's right. unknown direction, both three and four behind will fill in on the you know the outside guys' plates and hold the twelve o'clock. Mm. If it's a known direction, then we're just going to have one one guy, which would be the three guy in that situation. He's going to hold the twelve o'clock, whereas the inside guy is just going to fall in on the in the yeah, as the back position on the inside guy. Right. So because we know we're going that way. So we only put one gun at 12 o'clock in that situation and then we're out of the shape immediately. So Mm. the difference is known versus unknown directions of travel. Right now, I have you guys basically taking everything unknown. That way I can get Timothy up there and I can look on his screen and see kind of what we have. Uh, But, yeah, as it comes to like real life, you know, we would be. we would have some as knowing the structure, right? Like you, you see, and I obviously reading even the video game, it's like, well, we came from this direction, so it has to lead to outside. But you also see the importance of chem lights. It's like, yeah, if there's nothing there, how do we know that we've actually cleared that before? You know, you start to get into these buildings. Like, have we been in this room? Have we not? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was interesting too. Because when we opened the door and saw chem lights, it was immediate. Like, we've been this way. Suspect active foothold in this area and has been refusing to cooperate. Okay. Again, this is LCC. We would have some intel on what our breach point looks like at this point. Um, we would obviously, yeah, be making an approach under nods to use, you know, some of the darkness. Now, what you can see here is this is very typical of what real life is. Is like it's kind of light outside and kind of dark. You know, there's a lot of shadow areas. Uh, and this is the benefit of having articulating dual tubes, right? So now I can put one tube down and shine IR energy into those dark spots without having to put white light there. But I can also read the environment and see where is actually darkest for my team, you know, because, again, light is terrain. So we got to make sure that we're, we're approaching uh, using as much stealth as possible, right? As soon as we put energy into the environment, uh, we've started that clock, that re- uh, relative superiority clock against us. So uh, in order for us to have pressure, again, we're going to try to make our approach as stealthily as possible. Uh, and again, depending on the area, like here, I'd probably move into a wedge, but it's so short that, you know, you might as well file in these two by two. One thing we haven't covered is stairs. Um, so the stairs, th- typically we want the first two guys to get up to what is the next landing, right? So the first two guys are going to go up the treads, they're going to move, and they'll take what is the first shape, and then we'll have one guy on the treads at a time. So once they get to the top, they'll take what is the first shape, trying to see here. So again, four-way. They're going to get up there. It looks like Wright's probably blocked out for the game that, with the cars. That okay, it, you better release Jawa. You're good. So we'll pop it like the bottom Let's of the T. It. He's going to say, well, right side's obviously blocked here with the car. So he's going to say, on you. Now you guys hold. Now one guy's going to go up the stairs. Then he would get to them. The next guy would come up the landing. You know, that way we only keep one guy in treads at a time. And what that does is it saves the energy of your team. You know, if you get to like some of these casinos or apartment complexes and they're fucking 10 floors high, you know, you'll run yourself out of fucking energy before the salt even starts. So, all right, looks like we got full team integrity. We're going to move up to, I guess, that house kind of again, trying to stick, it, you know, under what is the darkest spot. Moving up to that open door on the garage. Yeah, just we have these stairs too. Do you want to isolate it on the stairs? Oh, okay. It moves up. So, yeah, I would put an isolator there and then um, move over to what is that open garage. And again, like yeah. here in real life, you'll have intel on which house you're actually going to hit. So, like, we wouldn't be clearing, you know, the neighbor's garage kind of shit. But, uh, okay. Who's on this? the, who's, who's putting isolator? Um, Kelly, watch the stairs. Jolly Got it. Point. I don't know. Who's on the, somebody on the stairs? I'm watching. I'm watching. Okay, go ahead. So just room procedure. Get in. Dig your hard quarters. 
Getting scared. Looks like we got a closed door right. Move up. L on the door. L into the room. Last man. There's what's down there, Jawa. Down to stairs. Alright, so I'd move uh, up those stairs. Not those right, stairs, like these ones in here. Oh, yeah. apologize. Alright, so now I would yeah, get team integrity. Can I would I? go over comms, bring my isolator from those stairs. It looks like we're looking at the front door of our breach point. So again, two guys, we're going to move up the stairs. Making sure we're fucking being cognizant of windows, portals, things like that. Just so for heads up for you, Jesse, the game cams. likes to throw stuff at these windows, so yeah. Okay. Well, also, again, like if we had an intel package that like the side door is a better entry point because it's easier to get through the backyard, like, you know, this is where like I don't know the game, so I've never right. <laughs> seen this map, you know, typically, yeah, w we get to decide which door we're going to make entry or if we're going to like, you know, port an entry a window or whatever the case. So, um, you know, I guess I'll let you use your call. Do you know if there's a better breach point than the main front door? No, it's just be careful of those windows. I mean, like anything like normal. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, again, what we're going to do is the first two guys are moving up to the front door. The other guys are watching windows. They're watching portals. And again, we're going to try to minimize. Looks like we got a ring doorbell. So now this is where precedence comes, right? Uh, at breach point, we always bang on breach point. So unless the guy going to throw the flashbang as he opens the door, the door gets open. He sees something like gasoline, a little baby crawling. Uh, that's when he's going to go no bang and move out of the stack. So for a bang procedure, a salter is going to give a, a motion to uh, number three guy behind him. This is why it's important that we stack assault side. He is then going to produce the flashbang show him. Once he sees that the flashbang's prepped and ready, that's when he's going to you know, get the uh, barrel release and, and then you know, the other guy will open the door of the breacher. Okay, give it to me. It's locked. Contested, so now we need breacher up, and this is where we would already have tools prepared with heavy breach for a ram. So ram comes up, enter, enter the door, bang comes out, bang. Your assaulter. All right, so now we just make one single room entry. Everybody comes in. Medical assistance is standing by. All right, can we go? Right, Suspect is ready. I need you to look up. All right, so first shape looks like what? Four way? Is that a door to the right? Yes. yes. Door right. Yep. Okay. So um, I would leave an isolator and take that very first door to the right there. Isolator's got to hold that. Yeah, there you go. So I only need one isolator. Then we move in. Room procedure. Dig our hard corners. Yeah, you're on him too. We got stairs and an open door. So I need number three man hold those stairs in this room. And now, yep, you and uh, whoever else move into that. No, you you go with that. Okay, there you go. Oh, got a guy. Got a guy. Flash one. Get a bang out there. Hey, bang. Bang out. Down, sir. Oh, oh, stairs, oh, stairs. Oh, Gotta check that balcony oh, side. Now, yeah. now, 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 Contact front, maybe? Yeah, we got L right here. Dead space. LSPD, hands up. Somebody's gotta hold that zero. I'm gonna need one. I'm watching zero, one. watching zero. Angle. Yep. There we go. Need one. If, if, if you guys want to handle that L, I got the zero. Yep. yep. On you. Bottom of a T. Ready? Rock, bring in the Timothy's way. Can you see how easy it's to forget chems as this shit starts to move? So we got some oh, dead yeah, space here. Hold yet. that. 
hold that door, uh, right side guy who's in the room with Timothy. Yeah, you, Walsh, hold that, and Timothy, clean up that dead space. Good. All right, on Walsh. Now. And bottom of the T. Talk. I'll bag it. Looks like we got crystal meth here, boys. Shocker. All right, chem this, chem that, come Drop out. Light. And like Easy the rest of you guys don't have to hold. This is where like, you know, if you have two man team integrity down there, like we're upstairs at this point. Is everybody upstairs? Um, I think three of us are upstairs and two are down right now. All right, let's get uh, team integrity. Let's get one guy holding the stairs to that room down and the rest of the team upstairs here. Is this problem we can uh, double deal with here. So, as soon as you come up the stairs, it's like a, a four-way just about. They broke the, the yeah. sheetrock on the right side here. I don't know if it leads to like a balcony or whatever, but it's a dead space. We have like uh, I would here. get up where, get up where Walt and uh, Timothy are. All right, so this we're gonna do a team. So this is a this is a door procedure with an isolator. So number three is gonna hold that other door, and the other two, the front two guys are gonna fall on it like an L. We just cleared that room, Jawa. So yep, you're gonna be the isolator. As they fall on that door, you hold that door. Then they're gonna clear that room. After a good barrel release, open the door. Barrel release. Typical room procedure. Behind that door, Timothy. Down, requesting Thames. I'll have this. Entry team is down. Walsh, Walsh, you gotta check behind that door. Talk to up to entry team. Right yeah, here. See how many little space there you go. Yeah, right. there's a there's a balcony on my right. It looks seems like at least a walkway. Go clean up that bathroom. Yeah, I think they cleared that way. That's in. Hey Tim, I don't know if you want to try and grab more cover, but do you want to walk down that hallway that they went down on that L right behind you, or right in front rather? You're right. Ready? Right. Like right here. Okay, nice. Way to get online. All right, go up, clear up that dead space in there. L. Ta-ta. That's bumpy. Element to talk. Suspect killed. All right. Talk, talk reporting. reporting. Affirm, and then who do I got down here? I got Jawa and okay, that's that's a, this is a good kind of what we got right now. So you got a door there, Walsh. So this is where if we're like not sure going back into the same room, we're gonna be blue, blue, blue before you know give ourselves. But we just gotta be ready if we open this door and a team's there, then get our guns down. So got an assaulter breacher. Go ahead and action the door. Hey, shotgun. We got it. Good. Girl, at least you good? Yep. yep. There's team. Blue, blue, blue. So now we move out. And we're going to head and go to where Dan was looking. So there's, yep. there seems to be a walkway on the right past the sheetrock. And then... No, uh, just that's a four face. away. Yeah. Dan, I got it with you. That's not me. I'm on the stairs. Oh. It's, it's me on the lead here. Do you want me to take a lead? Jawa and Dan, or Callie. All right, I'm going to break. Dan, you hold those stairs, bro. Okay, Callie, here's what you're going to do <laughs> here, man. Here's what you're going to do here. Guy that was doubling back. Someone's going to give a barrel release. When one of you gives a barrel release, that's motions the other one that they're good to turn to the left. Now, we don't know what's on the right, so it makes more sense for Jawa to give you the barrel release so you can turn to the right and clear that first. Right. It'll be basically simultaneous. So you hit left, boom. And you need to go Portal. left side. So, so left side, uh, take two and go that way. Right side, what we got on the oh, right behind you. Let me you see. Go in. Again. Portal, portal on right. All right, so we got a portal at 12. Let's get an isolator holding that, and let's clean up the rest of this here. So Walsh and Jawa, clear up that room in front of you. Bottom of the T. Clear, one more door. There's Breacher Walls. I believe we still have two suspects that we need to train. We're 
on there. L. Arrows. Fall in the door. This is where you toss a chem back at that other door. Dropping in light out. Toss a chem at your feet. Blue, blue, blue. Blue, blue, blue. blue. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna right. restrain this. Can someone give me some cover on this portal? Through the uh, balcony here. What? I'll watch downstairs for you. He dead. No, oh, she's still alive. Barely. Alright, All now we're gonna fall in. Now this would actually be like a four-way here with it being an open crosswalk, so we'd want to peel those directions to look out and then send 12 o'clock up the middle. Yeah, you can fall on down. Yep. I don't know if you can fit between us. Yeah, you, yep. yeah, you can. We have a soldier breacher on that door. No, we still have the bottom, but this is just how light goes sometimes. Like, there, wait. Suspect. I want you to get down slow. You guys hold her. I'll move up and get her. Suspect down. Wounded. This, this guy moved over into the room over here. I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm on your right side. Okay. Who are we looking at? I'm, I'm we will get this. you out of this as soon as possible. Is that Jawa? You got a guy behind you? Is that what you're saying? Civilian is secure. So, Jawa, can you shut that door that you're looking at that angle of exposure? Oh, I was trying to fall. You want to be inside of it. Leave. Leave. Stop. Suspect yeah. in custody. Yeah. If you go in and just shut that door, that closes off that angle of exposure behind you. There's one right here. Get in. Move forward, Jawa. That was in. It's, uh... Yeah, you can't get in. Yeah, there you go. Sorry, pal. You Shut that door. Me. Now that closes off that angle of exposure back there. So let's take. You got two in there. Good. I need the rest of the team falling in on Jawa and. Uh, Turn around. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. Just looking over here. Okay. 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 Give it to me. Uh, Jawa. Wait, I'll take wait. it. Is it clinic right around? Right around. Oh, you you're falling in with the other team. Or that's the other way you're going to. Roger, roger, team. Great work. Work going. Going. So, damn it, this is where we need chem lights so bad, because I don't know. Yeah, okay, they still have space to go on, too, so Dropping they're moving light. up there to clear up the attic now. Okay. Is it Tim that's with me? No, it's Walsh and... I'm with you, in the hallway with the two suspects. That, that's Tim, right? Wait, no, no, no. Dan, yeah, Tim's Dan, I'm sorry about that. with Walsh and Jawa. Okay, Jawa, I'm taking, I'm taking bottom of tea. Four-way, I think. Four-way, yeah, sorry. Yeah, you got a door in front of you. Okay, yeah, can't push to the corner. Let's see. Let me look at Jawas. He's got some dead space as well. Uh, let's move right side. I'm lost. There's nothing to worry about. Just a bunch of fucking guns. Do we want to go left or right? Uh, I guess we're going to go right. No. He should have taken it like a bottom of the tee, then he could have went that way. Oh, and now, so. yeah, on you. I would, cl I would go around Walsh's way. L. L. Al. Punch some light over there. Let's see, that just dead ends, right? So. Alright, get back on Timothy. Putting down a chem light. Drop a chem over there, knowing that you hit that limit. We're moving back towards you. And then I would go Timothy's direction. So you guys can go right all the way and then punch in. So. Oh, they're too man by them, so... Right. Look right! <laughs> One of you guys. Do we... All right. Do we just kind of, like, wait here and then just wait for the team to come back around, or...? Yeah, like, I would... From where you're positioned, they're cleaning up this top, and now they're moving back down to you. Lights Got stick it. out. Yeah, we're clear upstairs. Chem light. Chem light. Chem light out. All right. No, 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 Once you have team no, integrity no. with three... All right, you're up. So three, start moving down. That'd be Dan and... You guys are splitting up. Where are you guys going? Yeah, Timothy's. 
back here. Let's see. Who's there? All right, so take two into that room to the immediate. Who's looking at the room? Walsh Meth is lab. looking at the room. Okay. All clear in there. Or what was Bang that out on there, Walsh. That's my fault. I meant to toss a cam. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, my That's bad. a whole different shape. Whole different shape. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right falling on the rest of the team. There we go. You're up. Moving down. This uh, this, this hallway. Four way. You go one wide down. It's a little weird. Stuck. Let's continue on this left side. Surprise! <laughs> I'm watching downstairs. Hands in, Hands in the air. air. Short room's clear. I'm camming it. Okay. Ooh, I think it's all tied. Short room. And one in. The rest of you guys start moving out, looking for other work. Get back with the team. Seeing we would see chem lights glowing all over if we were coming properly. Now on Walsh, moving down the stairs. Somebody fill in Timothy. There you go. No, that's right. Who's with me? Yeah, all right, first two out. guys take the shape. Yep. Okay, we're back into the. Okay, I got a four-way. All right. I can't move. It's, yeah, there you go. I have to get out of your way. All right, so we got chems all around here. It's got to be Kevin, right? I don't know where the fuck we've been and where we have been at this point. I'm out, Cal. Oh, you I only still get have so many. five oh more. I have five chems left. I, got, I just dropped one. I'll hold this these three back doors if you guys want to get that other we door. We have dead space, done. dead space on the uh, on the right here. Yeah. So we gotta open that door. It doesn't look like we've been through there. Let's get an assaulter breaker on this one. Timothy's looking at this one. Right. Yeah, Dan's with him. Let me let me see those. The laggiest dude trying to shoot. <laughs> Go. Go ahead. Element Element field field of device. Okay, death here. Top, top Roger, Roger, Roger. Roger. Tag him, tag him, keep it Short room clear. Yeah, suspect was super deep. Alright. Let's go. Be Who's in front here? Right now. We take that room to the right. Now I've got to take that door as well. Give me an assaulter on was that Callie's screen. Yeah. Who's the best just holding random shit here. What is. This is you. Where are you at? Here. Oh, okay. We got team integrity now. Kelly over here. This is where we all came from already, Timothy. Or? I'm missing. Where's it? We were just clearing those three. Where are the two at? When you guys come in here, close the door. Last one. Oh, in here. Door's closed. Okay. Right. So we got two that can take that room. I need one on me. I'm on you. Okay. So we're going to Aldis. So we have third. So. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Five there. I got two open doors going outside. Clear that dead space behind you guys. Dead space back here is clear. There's a suspect in it. 
Element, element to talk. Contact, Contact is down. Talk to the board. Oh, you guys talk about that entry team. Notify the board. We got exterior open door here. Did anyone clear this room back here? No. That, that I'm with you. Need one. There's one that's space in here. We'll put it on this open door. Come out and get down! Come out slowly! Please get down! Stay calm. Get that. Get that. Cover that door, Timothy. Leave the talk. Civilian restrained and ready for transport. Talk, talk to entry team. Okay. Yeah, I got the rest of the team. Let's get uh, two guys on the store in here. This one? Yep. One Walsh is looking at. Timothy up here? I'm or whoever. He's covering the portal yeah. right now. Whoever else is out there. Yeah. The rest of you. Yeah, hey, rest, where are you guys at? We're, yeah, we're on the other side of the store. Come here. All right. Come with Walsh. Right. Here you go. Stupid thing. Ready? Okay, we've already been here. Light stick. Cam light. All right. Um, well, basically, yeah. I mean, now we would follow the chem light trail to where we haven't been, but since we ha don't have uh, all the chem lights around, actually the open doors would have probably helped us more than the closed doors, but... Um... I mean, we gotta find somewhere to go, so. Go left. And on Walsh and. Uh, Disregard, follow me. Around. Just, just, uh, we're gonna game it a little bit because I've got a little bit of map knowledge, so just follow, follow where I'm at. Sure. Uh, who's talking? Because there's more. Oh, it's Stan. I just come back yeah. into the structure and then go to this open door. We'll go out this open door. The, oh, okay. uh, we've, we've cleared the two main structures. There's just other shit, and it's this direction. All right, I'm, I'm with you. Space. We just have a bunch of dead space back here. They're in behind the pool. Yep. Pool clear. Yeah, got it. There we go. Bang deep. There you go. Get on the heads up. Don't move. LSPD, don't move. Keep your hands up. Suspect's on the left. Police, police, hands in the air. Suspect's down. Go ahead and secure him. Talk, talk to element. Talk, 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 Proceed with your mission. Your mission. All right, so we got a doorway to the right there. I want one isolator holding down long. I got long. Is that door open? Yeah. What do you need? Police! Police! Got a tunnel. Nice. Suspect in the tunnel. Last man. Hi, Slayer. Come up. Lead, lead to tunnel. Contact, contact. 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 We're on you guys. Alright. First two. We got a four way. Good. You guys are starting to get it. Guy pushes across, Timothy can step in the middle. Short Ooh, shit, it's dark without that. Who's just walking up right there? Oh, I thought Here we said I thought we were pushing my bed. No no, I don't think he's I don't think um, Tim said where we're going. We're we going right or we're we going Down left there. or center? Oh, right's dead end. Right's clear. Yep. We can go left. Left, left. Okay. Straight or left? Left. Go on left. Left of the ass. Man, moving on. Again, we'd chem light back there, so we knew which direction we were going. Which direction we were going. Tweaker with a shot. Talk, talk. Got one Got down. One down. Yikes. Talk to him. Turn the kick. Roger. Continue. 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 Take the L. Okay. Got a four-way here. 
Yeah. Everybody behind us? Nice. Okay. Fun snow factor. So you just got the two two sides. Dropping, dropping the Back some factor. So this is our only. So we're going to the right. Save. Is it behind us? Down on your knees. Get down on your knees. Hands on your head. Get down. Put your hands up. Do it now. I'm going to clear behind it before I restrain. Or could one of you guys restrain? I got the got yeah. this four way. You made the right choice. I think we've got it. Oh, I good. need it. I'm withdrawing. Hey, look at that. Ready. Ready. Compliance. Oh, last bad guy. Cop reporting. reporting. Cop copy entry. Okay. Notice notifying trailers. I can't see anything on mine. We just have civilians left. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, now it's a typical hit. Once we reach the end objective, right, we'll go and do secondaries, which would then that's where we would go through and look for all the people, the you know citizens, whatever people that were hiding under couches, like things that were harder to find. That's where we find evidence, all of that stuff, and then. Uh, talk, talk. Are you gonna split up for this, or would you stay like still stay in normal group? So usually on a structure when we hit uh, secondaries you, it'll be two man teams ideally you're not clearing rooms that you already had cleared you know but it doesn't always work out like that uh, but you'll rush to all the places and then what we'll do is once we go through the entire room make sure there's no people evidence anything like that we'll leave one dude in the threshold and then another dude will go look for work elsewhere if he's got no more work everything else is filled he'll go to um the like our egress point or our room like we're in the structure where we made entry typically the breach point uh and then we will hold up and pull security there until we get through everybody then, right then. once every room's been cleared uh we'll then call into command and we will let co notify command what we have right we'll say hey we've got whatever three bad guys down two civilians in you know custody uh, we've located this amount of drugs, whatever the case, you know. Uh, he'll then give us the all clear to exfil. Uh, we'll then call exfil throughout the structure, and this is where you have line of sight with everybody. So if you're last man, at the end of it, you'll start walking. You'll last man the guy in front of you in that doorway. Uh, he'll give you the next guy last man, so on and so forth, until we're all back at that breach point. Uh, at that point, we'll give our ACE report, which is ammo, casualties, equipment. Uh, that lets you know, hey, you know, 10 rounds fired, um, no injuries. And so it sounds something like zero up and up, which means your equipment's all there and together. Uh, once we have full team integrity, we'll then call the command, let command know that we're ready to egress. And he'll give us the command to egress. And that's where we'll move off site. Uh, the assault doesn't end until we're like back in the truck driving home like a bunch of times like you know you hit a house and it's Tyrone's house and he's friends with everybody in the neighborhood so they're all standing out there trying to whip beer bottles and shit so uh, we make sure that you know we take it but this is where yeah, like, typically you have a structure right so we're going through and clearing and obviously there's just chem lights everywhere and before we leave as we call that uh exfil you'll then shut all the doors pick up all your chem lights make sure kind of there was no trace and then we'll move off site awesome okay well look at that guys i think we get all the civilians so I understand that we're playing a game or whatever and it's going to tell us the objective is right but I mean realistically we will never know if we completed like the so-called objective right until we completely clear everything out well, I mean, typically you have a mission, right, or whatever right. it is. It's like, hey, your mission is to serve a search warrant, right? And your search warrant is on fucking Timothy Fuller. And yeah, so you'll have this whole intel package beforehand of like, hey, this is what the mission is. Uh, you know, like that if the mission is a hostage rescue, well, you know, that's the actual mission. So your mission's over once you've got the hostages taken, you know, the hostage taker. Uh, if you're there to serve a search warrant, then, you know, once you've apprehended that guy, cleared whatever structure he's in, 
you know, if it's a target package for the military, right, it's going to be like, yeah, you're hitting this structure of a known bomb maker, you know, and you're looking for evidence of bomb making. And like that is the mission is to then clear that structure. So there is a way to know, like, when the end is right, like. Right. And some missions, like, you you know, we would clear one house in Iraq, grab some intel, or maybe it'd be a dry hole or whatever. But as we call into command, well, they've got a house that's two houses down or whatever. And so now we have to make the action plan on that. And, like, you know, typically in a SWAT role, obviously, you have, like, rehearsal. You have stuff like that, like, where you're, you're getting ready before you go. Uh, on something like that, you just got to be ready to, you know, go and hit shape. So this is the importance of, A, knowing the procedures, uh, and then, you know, the whole world's just L's, T's, and four ways, tops of T's. So Very cool. And right. obviously, as we move across open space, you know, that, that changes kind of the wedge formations that we're in. But, uh, yeah, that's just patrolling tactics. Well, Jesse, uh, I want to say a big thanks to you. I think we're probably going to call it now. I'm sure we'll do this an another time too. But I think, you know, not only myself, I think the other team members, uh, Dan and Callie and Jawa, kind of saw that, you know, the the methodology works. Obviously, we went through the level even slowly and methodically using everything, and none of us really got hurt. Yeah, we got in some gunfights, but we were in the position to dominate those those gunfights every single time we moved into them. So you know, I, I thought it was pretty awesome. So I want to say big thanks to you, uh, Jesse, for coming out. Those people who are watching, uh, we, we do play a lot of Ready or Not on our Discord. So if you want to join in, make sure to jump in our Discord. Uh, Jesse, is there any other final words you kind of want to share with people if they have anything they want to know about um, from defense mechanisms or the defense elements um, side of things? Yeah, man, I think what you see here is, uh, you know, real life is structures, it's Officer shapes, Baker, it's procedures. So, you know, getting yourself into a class, familiarizing yourself with how to meet angles of exposure with angles of attack. Uh, that's beneficial for everybody, right? That's not just uh, military or police. Like, of course, that that's part of your job. But even a, a citizen, you can see of uh, trying to work a structure to get your family out of an active shooter event uh, and how you can put yourself in kind of the position of advantage instead of disadvantage. Uh, so I think, you know, being able to break the world down to those simple concepts is, uh, again, beneficial for everybody. And appreciate you guys having me on, taking the time. Uh, I know, again, some of you haven't haven't even had the uh, two-man procedures, let alone the four-man procedures. But hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight into what that actually looks like. Uh, and, yeah, man, it just gets smoother and smoother. The more people you have that are actually in on it, now you can imagine if you had 30 guys running through there, you know, then there's no one guy holding this for so long. He's just being plussed up by another team, and we're moving on, right? And we can follow a structure that's relatively large in a very short amount of time and do it thoroughly and do it pretty safely without pointing guns at each other. And I think that, you know, that's an important piece of it. I think one of the big testaments to it, too, is Cali is he hasn't been to the class. So the fact was that he could easily come into what we were doing. Hey, Cali, you may want to lower your, your screen for a second. Um, he was able to easily jump into what we were doing, jump into the shapes, jump into the movements with, with very little training whatsoever. So it's kind of a, like what I had said in one of the other videos about CQB and after learning with you is that you could train someone up very quickly because they're just shapes. There's not a lot of, a lot of things you have to explain. Everybody knows what a shape is. So I say, hey, you go left, I go right. They're not confused as to what that is. So, yeah. So very cool. Uh, so big thanks, Jesse. Um, so I'll say, uh, sorry, Jesse, one more, any, anything else from you? You good? No, no, all good, man. All right, well, thanks everybody. Thanks for coming out. I hope this was useful for you guys. If you wanna learn more about CQB, I highly recommend it. Hit up the Defense Mechanisms uh, and Defensive Elements websites, uh, defensiveelements.com. Hopefully they have some new training classes listed Officer soon. Keep an eye on that though. They usually try to post those as we get toward into 2025. They'll start having those listed. But otherwise, thanks so much. All the players, just, just stay still where you're at. And uh, yeah, thanks everybody. Jason's gonna close us out.